and let's move along. Let's go to the second main topic now, which is money making tips. I've got three of them that I, I do strategically, you know, before I go to any event I've been doing this for the past two years now, which is I'll literally create content about the event. Look at what I'm doing right now. I, you know, I got the title FinCon 21 in the title. I'll send out emails, I'll promote it. It's almost like I'm promoting the event before the event, right? So I'll create content yeah. before the event. I'll create content during the event. And usually the content that I create during the event are quick, you know, 15 second, 30 second stories that I'll post on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, right? YouTube shorts. That's usually how I'll create content or photos. I take photos with people that I interact with, network with. You know, you get a little star power, you know, for example, if you uh, say there's a speaker attending FinCon that you really want to, you know, s hear them speak and then possibly take a photo with, that photo could be money, you know, because that, mm -hmm. that person is highly successful and there's something around, you know, getting around successful people. They, you know, they sprinkle the infield is what my stepdad calls it, which is you're just spreading the wealth, right? And if you've got that energy of, of money and wealth, richness like just pure authenticity money just falls off of you onto other people and when when others that are looking to build that are looking to get within proximity of the money you got to find where where is money's attention being held because money follows attention the more attention you attract it eventually the money comes with it right so create content the second thing i sometimes not all times but sometimes i might run a promotion either either i'll offer like you know free coaching like if you come to the event i i like to try to incentivize my subscribers to actually meet me in person hey take the ride come meet me let's go to dinner let's hang out and maybe that subscriber is not a client yet but that's that one thing that makes them go right over. They got to meet you in person, you know, and then they're like, I got to work with this guy. I got to work with this lady, you know, and so that's usually really powerful. And then the third thing is collaborate. Another thing we're doing right here, right now, I'm collaborating with Brad. Now, this isn't, you know, a, uh, uh, you know, little quick thing. Like I actually prepped this, you know, I, mm -hmm. I researched youtubers i looked up content i watched hours upon hours of, of content i researched i f once i found brad then i narrowed i said okay I, I like this guy i watch about 10 15 videos i i look at old videos new videos in between then i say okay where else is he on you know facebook oh he's attending fincon okay cool da, da, da. and i slowly build you know what i call social currency digital currency right mm -hmm. where i'm i'm building i'm depositing you know, uh, uh, social currency into this new relationship, new relationship. And then you ask, I don't just lead with the ask, you know, I, I kind of build it up to the point of asking where they feel comfortable to say yes. You know, I get them in a position to say yes. I take out the guessing work when it comes to people saying yes. I try to make them as close as possible to a yes by creating the environment of yes. This is a great sales tip for those that are looking to, you know, increase their sales in their businesses. You just got to position your prospects in a yes environment uh, and less of a no and I don't know and I'm not ready environment. OK, so those are the three main things that I have. Uh, Brad, is there anything that you'd like to, to add to this that I might have missed here or something that you've done in the past? Anything you can think of? So I'm in the middle of this pivot. You know, I, I grew up and, and had so much of my career in the corporate software sales space, which is a much, uh, it's, it's a lot different. The, the, the networking principles are very similar. So I'm really looking forward to FinCon in so many ways, not the least of which is just the fact that I can wear jeans and a t-shirt <laughs> and, and, uh, and really just be myself and not have to put on any, any kind of airs. But I, I like, um, the idea and actually, you know, you're giving me a lot of great ideas about, you know, creating content and capturing moments, capturing conversations, capturing ideas and insights that you're getting to then share, you know, with your audience as well. So I, I love, um, I love all of that. That's good stuff.